Hello, everyone. Hello, hello. I was, there we go. I knew something was missing. At that time, I pushed it, and it just decided to do what it wanted, which was mm -hmm. not do what I wanted. No, we know to. how that is, because that happens with the numbers. I it does. Them, and you hear me, but it doesn't come up, so. Yeah, it's weird how that works Excuse sometimes. Me. So. Gonna... Oh, please. I need a little water. Hold, please. It's all about me now. Hi, everybody. <laughs> no, I'm bringing you back in. There, there we go. We go. But now I have to switch to office again so you can look <laughs> at me correctly. Um, oh. Hello, everybody. So, oh, here, take, there we go. Hello, everyone. Oh, we already have people coming on in. <laughs> um, we are so glad to see you all here tonight. I'm Stacy from Masterpiece Jewelers, and I am joined by my sister, best friend and award-winning jewelry designer, Tracy. Hello. Good to see you all. And um, we are, once again, doing a live jewelry design along where Tracy is going to design a piece of jewelry from scratch while we all watch. And then she is going to um, ask us if we are interested in uh, changing the gemstones, putting more on, taking more off, adding diamonds, doing a different color gold. And she will adjust all of those things right before our very eyes. So that is what we will be doing this evening as we do um, uh, every Thursday evening. And then there is something else we do every Thursday evening, Trey, and that's give away a beautiful necklace. And so tonight we are giving away this sterling silver necklace valued at a hundred dollars it is so pretty by the way it is diane sherman was in earlier today and i was just getting it all set up so i showed it to her the warfords were in but we were busy doing other things and i wasn't working with it at that time so they didn't actually see it in person but um diane mentioned like also mentioned online that she loved it mm -hmm. so in order to register for possibly winning this tonight before our show is over. And by the way, this show is usually just under an hour. So we will give this away just before 8 p.m. Eastern time. So first of all, you are going to share this live feed to your own Facebook page and then comment shared in the comment section. That will automatically get you one entry into the drawing tonight. Now, if you'd like to increase your odds, all you have to do is tag your Facebook friends. And for each person that you tag, you get an additional entry, up to 10 additional entries. So, and as I said, we will um, pull the winning name tonight before the end of the show. So just as easy as that. So Trey, are you ready to get started? Yes, as I'm let's go adjusted? forward. All right. There we go. And Tracy's going to click on over to her. This is the crazy screen. Okay, there we go. And oh, <laughs> makes I, your eyes cross. Okay. And <laughs> I thought I had just put it down. Sorry about that, everyone. But apparently I took it off the screen. So it's coming up now. All right. Very can you good. All see it? Oh, yes, we well, definitely can. And so I will quickly also Sorry re about that. remind you that um, Friday and Saturday, our last two days of our 20th annual Christmas in July event in our store here in Daytona Beach, Florida. And that means that at time of purchase, you will pick an ornament off the tree. And inside is a discount from 22 to 40% off, which will apply for everything you picked out right then. I think the Warfords got 32 or 35% oh. off. Yes, and somebody else got a 40 today, so yes. it was a very busy, good day. And then we go ahead and put them right back on again. So mm -hmm. um, just because people got some of the higher ones doesn't mean you can't as well. So, and and also um, you will receive a um, free pair of gorgeous iridescent earrings, the ones you see right on the screen right That's now. That's right, oh, and the good. Warfords did not get there, so... Rick and Cindy, yes. we need to put aside <laughs> the pair that you like. Exactly. Is that what you're saying, exactly, yes. All right. So let me know in the comments section if you would, Rick or Cindy, would you like the green, the purple, or the um, this iridescent white? Okay. That was easy enough. Get that was. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right. Trey, are you ready? I am. Now? Yes. You're, let's go forward. You're, I don't know, juggling over there. No, no, so. I'm good. I'm <laughs> all right. Whoop. All right. 
Okay. Everybody, here we go. Okay, so let's go ahead and we're going to start from scratch. So we're going into freehand and I'm going to start with a ring rail. That was um error I made this morning when I was um, putting this together. I did not a have rail? a ring rail. So a ring rail is letting me know how it's going to fit on your finger. So if we had this ring rail and we stay with uh, stay outside of the ring, it will fit a person's finger as long as we fit it right up next to this ring. So one of the things I did earlier is I, I changed it around and didn't have the ring rail and part of the ring was in the in the model's finger so <laughs> oh, no. so we're gonna try to have that not happen <laughs> okay so i did correct it so i, I think i know the error of the my poor, ways mm -hmm. poor thing, the poor model i know so we're gonna make it a seven and we are going to go ahead and start with this design right at the very beginning here we're gonna click that on in mm -hmm. and why not do rose gold because we don't hardly ever start with rose gold. Let's start with Ooh, that, that for a change. I'm already loving this. Yes, I know. And we are going to take it and turn it to the side. There we go. Uh, we'll probably have to go back and uh, do the perspective view in just a moment. We're going to duplicate this. And now we have two of them. So yes, we'll go back to the perspective view and we are going to take this and we're going to turn it or flip it 180 degrees. So now we have two rings that are flipped 180 degrees. Mm -hmm. Now, one of the things that I'd like to have is diamonds all the way up and down their bands. So let me pull this one a little apart so you can see where we're at. And we're going to go ahead and give it some diamonds. So let's see. Here we go down at the bottom, the end position. So we're going to add more gems. All the way down. So that it's more like an eternity band. Yep, so there we go. We're gonna do the same thing to the other one that we created. And now we've got the diamonds all the way down the band. There we go. Okay, in this view, we are going to put the grid on and let's see where that falls. Oh, it's never where you want it. But I think since we have them turned, we can go ahead and do the side view. And now we can put the grid on and it's going to fall in the right place. Okay, let's go ahead and um, bring this one to the right out a little bit. And we're using those grids as like a plan to um, have them even on both sides. There we go. And we're going to turn it a little bit. That's good. And we're going to take and turn the other one a little bit also. Angle it, I guess you would say. And I'm checking the grid to see and make sure that it is in about the right place. And I think that looks about right. And um, I think we will go ahead and pull it in a little closer on both sides. There we go. So that we have a nice crisscross. Because the ring guard, I mean the um, ring rail, and it, let's go ahead and put this in the perspective view and take off the grid for right now. We have the ring rail on there. And as we can see, because we took the seven size seven rings and we twisted them, they are not, if we put it on a finger, I don't think it's going to be right. This is a good way and good time to check. Yes, so you can ah, see we mm -hmm. are now in the finger. And that looks extremely painful. Oh, yes. Ouch. <laughs> so let's go ahead and we know we have to make these bands a little bigger. And you know, this is probably a good way to do it while it's on our finger. Let's take and move it to an eight and see how that looks. It really isn't going to be an eight. Well, her finger 
rose to an eight too. No, you're supposed to be ring rail eight. So let me take this off. This is not helping. Well, right, right then she put on weight right as we watched. I know. That, that's, I feel like that happened. <laughs> did we sometimes. all see that? Yes. We did. The weather, it's so hot down here. I could see that happening. Oh, my goodness. Fact, uh oh, 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 I didn't like that at all. No, that's not good. That's not good. Sorry about that. Let's see where we're at here. Let's see if anything pops up because I did not save. Well, it's so early. Seriously. And I think I think we've stalled out. Okay. So hopefully it is going to be in the um, temporary file. Let's go ahead and shut this down. All right. Very good. And there's no reason because we started um, out. Uh, no, I didn't want that. Would you like me to go over and talk about something? I think you'll have to. Helpful? Thank or you. possibly helpful? Okay. So. While we are letting Tracy reset, and by the way, Trey, my mouse died also, so I've been no. over here no, no. Like juggling. All right, so a reminder that next Wednesday we will be having our weekly live online fine jewelry sale, and you can see this lovely um, rose gold and diamond stacking ring valued at $500. Someone is going to win that next Wednesday, July 26th, and that all starts at 7 p.m. Um, and this is the prettiest little ring. And I usually keep a little backup of all of the different um, pieces we're going to be giving away on our Wednesday shows so I can create the graphics for it. And um, I'm out. This is the last one, so I better get to picking some other beautiful things to give away. Uh, who doesn't love shopping for jewelry, especially... Um, jewelry that is going to make our clients very happy when they win it. You okay. might want to mention also, because I saw on that image or the, go back. the image yes. before that we have um, the uh, hometown news reader's choice reader's choice. And that's coming up, I believe next week. That is correct. And um, I think, or it was, is it this week? The end of no, this week? It, it's, uh, it was on my notes. Okay. And I talked to our lady, Kim Milo. So we we will be, we're right on schedule with that, Trey. Just you and okay. I have not had a chance to talk about it. Okay. So. Very good. I just wanted to make sure that. Thank you so much for mentioning that. And yeah. that is in my book, wherever my book is, wherever my to-do book uh, list book is, that's always the hard part when you have to try to find the actual book itself. The okay. lists are easier. Okay. We are Here back we to go. where so we started. Thank you so much, everyone. Thank you. All right. Very good. Okay. And then let's put this one a size eight. Isn't it great? It did auto save. That is phenomenal. Uh -huh. I was talking, so I wasn't sure exactly how it all came back up. So Absolutely. That is wonderful. So we were just getting back to where we were. We're almost there. It's like they're dancing. They look like hockey um, sticks they right do, now. They do, don't they? Right mm -hmm. now they do. And Rick, way a long time ago, I don't know, 10 minutes ago, you put in 10 minutes ago. 32 for us. And I am not exactly <laughs> sure. I was going to go back and make sure that I had whatever... Um, you were going to, you, you and um, Cindy wanted for those earrings. And so um, if that is what you are telling me, I'm not sure which one 32 is. <laughs> so if we could go with the green, the purple, or the iridescent white, that would be so helpful. Back to you, Trey. Okay, great. <laughs> okay, so I'm just moving these around to get them to where I want them. And it's just moving them to get them into place. There we go. And let's move that one up a little bit. Of course, the factory will make sure that all of this will get taken care of properly. Let's try it on a finger. I'm scared. Oh, my. We're only seeing the side of it. That's right. All right. Well, thank goodness, because... Um, hmm. oh, there we go. If that doesn't hurt from the back at all. Not at all. <laughs> there we go. 
Okay, done. No, I'm just joking. I mean, that would be kind of an interesting ring. And now it's into the back fingers. Just ignore that. <laughs> just ignore it. Don't worry. I would I look would away. manage. Let's yes. Look away. Yes. Please look away. Let's take the hand off. We just want to get a good view from the front. At least here. We definitely, in real life, want to get more than that. That's right. Okay, so we're going to go out and we're going to add a gem. And I love just adding little bits and pieces and making it into something. And the gem is going to be an oval shape. And you could make this a marquee shape. You could make it um, a cushion shape. But I had made it oval for what I had planned to do. Right now it's very small as you can see. So we just need to make that larger. I think we'll go all the way over and see where we're at. Okay, that's a little big. Oh yeah, that's 15 millimeters. I think closer to 10 or 11. Yes, that's looking good. I think I think we'll maybe stick with this. That. Love it. We're going to set it down, but as you know, we have to stay within that ring rail which is under there. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to push that up so that it's not hitting into a person's finger. So this is going to be a high ring. This would be beautiful for one of clay stones. Oh, um, let's put a London blue in there so we can really enjoy color while we're working today. Let's just go for it. There we go. Love it. And I could just see something like this of clays um, that we could set and it would just be so very pretty. So now the next thing is we just can't have it floating as much as I would love to do that. And maybe somebody will design some way to have it floating. Yeah. I mean, really, we just don't know anymore what could be done. That's right. <laughs> That's absolutely right. It's possible. And we're going to come in here and we're going to just grab this particular part. It's just a, a single stone setting. We're going to put that out onto the screen and we're going to make it into an oval shape. Uh, let's see what it gives us its counterpart. So that's great. It's going to give us an oval shape. So that's why you could make it into a shape that would be great as a um, marquee. I think a marquee would work great with this design. So we're bringing this, I kind of think of it as maybe a little collar. But it's it like the collar, isn't it? Isn't that what they're called in that position? Yes, that's what I think it is. Yeah. The collar. And it I like it because it has a little design on it. I really thought that was pretty. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to duplicate this and we're going to enlarge it to a larger collar. So that is like the um gallery rail, the lower gallery rail. And now we are putting like a bezel around the top. What did we just make? Oh, never mind. This is a fault in this program because that oh, happened this morning, if you can believe it. Interesting. We have to go back out instead of duplicate that particular piece. Very interesting how some things have, like the code behind it is not quite perfect. Right. And mm -hmm. do they, of course, it's hard to even have the time to do this, but do they request that when you find something like that, you report it to them probably some, yeah but i'm telling you it's hard to basically do with all due respect their job for them i mean it's up to them or any software developer to work out all the bugs but it really is a hard thing to oh, it, i think for them to see look at all the little parts you know yeah unless they know it's broken it's hard for them to see mm -hmm. And I want to tell you, it's early still, but Kelly is coming right out of the gate with, I want to try that with the tanzanite. Oh, wow. So, very, very good choice, Kelly. Yes. <laughs> Woohoo. Okay, so let's go ahead and make sure we have this large enough for this to be um, set into. There we go. There we go. So now we have a nice bezel on this particular piece. Let's bring it up a little bit higher. That is so cool, Trey. I liked it. Mm -hmm. There we go. It's funny because this is much wider <laughs> than um, I remember it this morning. 
<laughs> well, um, let's see, 10, 11 hours have gone by since then. Yes. I mean, a lot of life has <laughs> happened. That is true. So I think I'm going to leave it like that. And we're going to keep building this ring. So right now, again, it's still floating. Looks great, but it's mm -hmm, floating. Sure <laughs> That's, that is my future ring where it floats. Um, and we need to bring in a little design to attach the ring to, this, to the shank. And I'm going to use this piece right here. I really decided to use kind of straight lines instead of a lot of swirl because it has a lot of um, straight lines in this design, in my opinion, instead of having lots of swirls. So that's that was my thought on it. And we are going to take this and let's see here. We need to turn it. There we go. And let's bring that out to the side a little bit. Let's see where we're at. Oh, that's good. That's good. So we're going to bring that up to the top and turn it again. This is a part that we can just make smaller all the way around. Let's see how it looks on the side. Yes. So let's make this smaller to fit into the spot that we're working with. Bring it back down a little bit into the shank. Now, I think what would be nice is if we made it thinner but longer. Okay, everybody, we need to we need to save. Okay. There we go. It is kind of an odd shape right now because this is not <laughs> this oh. is not good, but ah. let's go ahead and make it a little smaller. But I can see the whole thing is is um wanting to um kind of shake off what's happening. <laughs> it's like this is not what we're made for. It's too difficult. It is not. It's not. Save yourself. We tell you you can do it and you can do it. Trust and in us. That's right. Trust in the designer. And Margarita um, is right on time saying, don't forget to save. Thank you, Margarita. So. Can't save too much. That's no. for sure. So we're going to hit the little box up here and we are going to bend this. There we go. Right. We're going to grab up at the top here and give it just a little bit of a curve. And let's turn it this direction. It's not quite in the center. But I love what's happening here, Trey. Yes, I think it might love be it. just what we need. Mm -hmm. Let's pull it over a little bit. And let's lengthen this. And move it up so that it's connecting. Yes, that's just what I'm looking for. And I think I might go ahead and even make it a little thicker there. Because we definitely, it's only 1.75 millimeters. Let's make it closer to 2 or 2.25. There, 2.15, right in the center. I love that. I love adding that part, Trey. It, it really was a perfect part because it doesn't distract. It's Let's make it such, a little bit thinner. Such an, a neat, you know, shape. Not just a line, you know, a straight line, but a shape and made it like could see that it was going to fit this perfectly. Yes, I did. Love that. We're going to take it the part and we're going to push it over to the other side. So I think that side. Good. Yep. So now we have that on both sides of the ring. Oh, that is so pretty, Trey. And that's going to hold it nice and tight in the center. Mm -hmm. So we're really getting a unique look here. We are going to mm -hmm. add. <laughs> Rain says uh, it on the pieces that you have attached, it's the anti-floating device. <laughs> That's right. It's floating. <laughs> what is that? Ship. What is anti-floating? Like on a plane? Oh. Anti-gravity. Um, <laughs> Oh, yes, right, anti-gravity, that, right, well, you had it doing that, but thankfully now it's actually not floating. It's no longer doing that. In fact, you added such a beautiful piece. We're going to go ahead and add this piece here, and um, that is going to connect the two 
like, like the lower gallery rail and the bezel. And um, we're going to put that up at the top and we're going to polar array it. This ring has a, a little bit of everything in it, which I really like. I do too, and I can definitely um, just keep adding and adding to a design, to a person, you know, one of my personal designs. I just think, um, you know, more is more. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you know, in jewelry, you either kind of do minimal or you go all in, I think. That's exactly right. You either like simplistic designs or you like something um, like myself that is more showy. That's right. And that's so cool how you can see it coming out of the molten metal. And <laughs> yes. Um, to have such control over that. And Tracy, so after um, Tracy sits down and has an appointment with you, a design appointment, which is absolutely free, and those take about an hour, but they're not limited in time. So whatever time you need, that's what you two are going to be enjoying working together with. Um, then after you leave is when her real work begins because you will have designed a piece right before your very eyes. I should say she will have designed a piece right before your very eyes and um you so you know what you're going to be getting and you both have, you have agree that that's exactly what you want then tracy has to do the very important work of checking every single aspect of the design itself to make sure the metal pieces are touching that there's a symmetry or asymmetry, as the case may be, that the diamonds are not overlapping, which cannot happen in real life. There we go. And um, so, and that work that she does, uh, which she is really um, a perfectionist, that work um, actually takes anywhere from three hours up to in more than one case three days so it a lot goes into it but luckily you don't have to be there for most of it well thank goodness you were talking during, during <laughs> who knows the, what happened what who knows what happened there? here well, i clicked the wrong thing and didn't realize it until it started moving control, there we go there we go control z okay. no no we're good we're good I looked up and oh my goodness. <laughs> well, like I said, it's a good thing you were attracting everybody. But, well, I thought I was. Okay, <laughs> so we we do not want this. We want this. And I do not know why it changed. Because everything is kind of clumped up. And I can tell my clicking. You have to be patient with me because I'm quite the clicker. We all know that. Mm -hmm. We all know that. We all know it. Tracy is a known clicker. There we go. So I've made it an oval shape it, that it's going to go around, pull our array around. And um, right now we're at 90 degree angle. We need to go all the way to 360. There we go. And we want to have a count of six. So let me show you where these are. You can see them if we look. They're holding. Well, I have to adjust them. I can see the one is floating there a little bit. But um, these are holding the um, top bezel and the lower gallery rail together. So let's go ahead. We want six because that, to me, does not seem to be hardy enough. Mm -hmm. So let's see which way the six is going. We started polaraying upside down which is no problem. We just, oops, we just need to get back there. Okay, so let's get a little she closer. She started upside down. Yes, five and six. So when we look, there should be six of them. And there is. That is beautiful, Charlie. Fantastic. Beautiful. We're just going to move that down a little bit so it's not floating. And push it inward. If we can find that. Boy, that is so neat just seeing it spinning around <laughs> it is so cool we will find the um let's go ahead and 
stop the polar arraying in case we get anything else going on. I think it's going to be this. What if you save? There we time. go. Okay, let's save. Because I can hear her computer really working <laughs> over there. Yes, you can. And we are going to push this forwards. And all of them should go at the same time. There we go. And there we go. Now it's holding it on just perfectly underneath. And see how, again, we've gone with that idea of just a lot of lines instead of swirls, which we could do swirls also, but we chose to do the lines. Okay, so on the side of the ring, I think it this is really just a nice form for what we want to add. And I had a what you would call a happy accident earlier today. Oh. So we're going to see if we can't continue with that. I went ahead and got a halo, this one here, and I made it kind of small. And so when it went small, it went into like a set of four stones. So let's see, it might not happen and we'll just build those four stones by themselves. As you, I mean, you're always tweaking and modifying, so that's not going to be a problem. No, no, it won't be. So let's bring this up and um, over. It's so nice to have halos. This halo could easily be put onto this ring. In if you didn't want to have that bezel, you could put this halo on there. Um, we are Amazing. going to go up to, I think maybe I... Uh -oh. accomplish this by doing oh, the marquee let's see because i actually had planned to use the marquee on here as decoration let's take both of these down a little bit and see what happens i think they might have been about three let me see if i do three here almost there a fine line it is you can do that you can. that is i have so much going on over here today it's like you with one of the special edition wednesday i see that shows so i keep looking up instead of usually i'm watching uh -huh. and i'm like wow look at what you did there oh my gosh wow look at what you did there so let's see how this looks on the side And that really needs to be rose. That's very distracting. And let me go back to that piece. And we are going to try to go a little lower. Let's do a two millimeter. And do two on the other. And we might get it exactly how I wanted it. Couple more dots here. Gonna go just one more smaller. Pretty soon it's gonna be very mad at me. That's right. And no one has even said save. Uh oh. But as your sister, I am. There we go. I got it. I think everybody wants to see what happens. That's right. The <laughs> drama. The drama of it. They're like, let's see if she doesn't save. What's gonna happen? There we go. So what's neat is we have um, four stones. Let me get a little closer. And let me pull those down that would be attached to the side. And it's exactly what I wanted to have the four. They are slightly askew. We just would work on that a little more. There we go. I think we I think that is very close. And I would do the same to the other side. So we would just hit um, side over here. And now we have the little stones where I had planned on putting them. So after that, I wanted to put a bezel on the sides. And we're just going to get this one here, bring that in. And this one could actually be made with that same design as the bezel we have and then set a 
a stone in it. But, Interesting. You know, so that it has that same look. But for right now, we're going to just do it a little quicker because I can see the time up there. Yes. And it, Teresa has come into the chat. Hi, Teresa. Saying hello, everyone, and in perfect timing for Rose Gold and London Blue Topaz. <laughs> it's true. Teresa loves London Blue Topaz, and she loves it with Rose Gold. And we both love, love jewelry. Tracy loves jewelry a lot, too, but, I mean, Teresa and I <laughs> really love jewelry. I love what you're doing there, Trey. Like this is um, along the lines of something I would design. It has got so many <laughs> awesome. I mean, who thought of putting a bezel stone at that crisscross spot? I, Amazing. I just thought it would be nice finishing point there. Yes. And with that, I would put the London blue, the stone that I have at the top. There we go. And I would accent it right there. Apply. And wow, Lisa agrees with me. Uh, and I'm sure other people, she says, I love that bezel setting on the side. Look at putting that blue topaz in there. It kind of finishes it. It does. And it gives a contrast right there. It does. Now, um, something that I think would really be an interesting point is to have these crisscrossing lines to be in a different color. So let me go ahead and make them black diamonds on the one side. And Rain says, click, click, save. You are right, Rain. Great, thank you. When we've already lost it, you know, had it break down once today, it's nice That's to right. remember to save it. Rain was not here for that. Oh, okay. A slightly <laughs> later, so you missed that whole um, tragedy, Rain. And that was early on. Yes, it was. Thank goodness. And look at, I mean, there are so many stones in this. There are. There we go. I think maybe we've hit them all. Let's hope so. And I wanted to turn those to a black diamond. Oh, love it. Love it. Love. There we go. Yep. So you really have mm. a striking ring here. I love that the asymmetrical, I don't know if you're going to continue on this, but I love the black diamonds and the white diamonds. They signify, um, I love you day and night. And this is just beautiful how you make this. Thank you, Stace. Let's go ahead and make a quick rendering of it. Yay. I should have taken the ring rail out since it shows up in the renderings. Now, once again, as much as I love this program, I would like to say to the Programmers, you know we don't put the ring reel when we render. Yeah, it's you very true. That. Probably only you see it. Yeah, yeah, I see it there. Yeah, so that's you know just my take on it. I would have it crisscross with the two different colors. Probably showing this from the side would even give a better mm -hmm. better view. Yeah, for oh and okay, Diane Sherman says. Wow, so beautiful with the star eye emoji. Ah, <laughs> and um, Margarita says, "Wow, thank you, everyone. I appreciate that." Um, we are clipping right along tonight on the show. So, um, those of you who are in the comments section, if you would like to start thinking about or even listing um, different uh, gemstones. Uh, you would like to see Tracy put into this ring and change the, the different color metal you might like to see. This is a good time to do that. Boy, can we see it? I'm scared to ask. On a hand? Yes, we will see it on a hand. Let oh, me you're doing quickly do oh, this, my. which is a fun, fun side. Please, let us take a bunch of screenshots of this. <laughs> this ring is just amazing. Oh, you are a sweet sister. No, it's true. <laughs> You can tell by my like, enthusiasm <laughs> that it's, I'm not even just being sweet. Well, it 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 
does have all the aspects of a real wow. unique design. Just put that one in today tonight. <laughs> okay, great. We will try it on the hand. Don't look under the hand, whatever we do. Right, do not look under. There's no need to see any of that. I could have maybe helped by moving it up to the end of her finger a little more. Let's take a look and see. Let's let's take a shocking look. Oh no, oh no. Oh, oh. No. so painful. Just ignore it. All right. But it looks great on the top. And I don't know, what's everybody think of the two colors of the diamonds? Probably moving them back to one color. This would make more sense. It would, it would probably be more likely that people, more people would be drawn to that than the two. I That's agree. sort of avant-garde the way that you have it there. It really is. And Margarita is just, whenever you're ready, Trey, is, um, is out of the gate with different gemstones. Try white gold, yellow diamond. Okay, great. We all love a yellow diamond, that's for sure. Yes, and so then uh, right under that, she put white gold with yellow diamond. In the so, center, um, I'm thinking. That's what I'm thinking. Okay, very good. I was thinking, and that's where I was totally <laughs> thrown off. Okay, so let's turn those all back to clear. And we're going to add the apply. There we go. And let's go ahead. Almost looks like a turquoise on the side, doesn't it? It does. Let's see how much light would get under the stone. Oh my gosh, Trey. One of clay stones, or maybe the tanzanite. Let's put a tanzanite in there. Oh, it. Really quickly. Um, well, let's do margaritas and then we'll make sure okay, we get a tanzanite. Okay, margarita, we are going to put a yellow diamond in the center. With white gold. And okay. rain has such a great one. I'm not going to say it now, but we will say it in just a moment. Okay. White gold. There we go. Oh, yeah. Wow, that's a pretty color combination really shows up that diamond it does that is so completely different Ooh. looking and look at there's the london well, blue on the side we can the change side. that to a little yellow diamond absolutely that only makes sense to me let's go ahead and change that to the yellow diamond oh yeah that that did it and tara o'gorman says beautiful ring tracy oh thank you tara Yep, yeah, so there it is. Let me render that for us. Not quite sure what angle to render it in. Isn't that funny? It's, Let's it's first render that it way there. Ever since we started. Seriously. Yes, but it would be great on a finger. And we'd just make sure we would tell the people that were going to finish up the design, we would ask them to please um, make sure that it would fit nicely on and then whatever size finger we would say. And so. Um, We'd probably measure this for a wide band. Oh, definitely, mm -hmm. right? Um, and Margarita says, gorgeous. And she has two Aww. emojis with heart eyes. Oh, so, that's so nice. I love this. <laughs> love this. This is so completely different looking than the one you started with. It and is. And both are fabulous. It is. So um, I'd like to put the tanzanite in real quick because yes, I know Kelly had actually, asked about that. That's right. Way at the beginning. Kelly so is. I don't think they show a tanzanite, but I believe it would be similar to this purple. Okay, let's see. Yeah, that yeah, would be a very, good. very mm -hmm. similar color. And now that we're doing that, I think on this side, that would be quite pretty. The yellow, but let's add a little tanzanite. A little tanzanite action. To Let's that. do a little tanzanite there. Oh, yeah. Oh, and see how you can see through here? It almost yes. gives like a stained glass window effect. It does. Mm -hmm. And um, let's go ahead and see this one rendered. All right. Yes, please. I'm going to save this one too. In and case can Kevin... you, like, I'd like to be able to see the top of the purple stone just a little bit more not a whole lot like more. that 
Well, now we can't see the side. You I know it's really. The... You had it. That's probably good. Yes, that's good. That's where you started. Just do it right there. You're... Why am I? What do you think of this, you? Stace? No, I know, right? <laughs> Hi, am I this is your um, speciality. I just made, made up that fancy uh, saying. Uh, no, sometimes it's hard to turn them so that you really can see what they look like. And uh, something like this, you saw the way we added all the diamonds in the back. We could just have that uh, be a nice plain band, too. It doesn't have to be diamonds. And so, Trey, I want to tell you that Rain said, in honor of Barbie Oppenheimer opening weekend, which, oh. by the way, I have heard it called this, Barbenheimer. Why are they calling? I mean, I because know why, because the Oppenheimer other... Oppenheimer mm -hmm. is also opening along with Barbie. Yes. Because they're both, I don't know why trends go. Okay. But in any way, in any case, it's the Barbenheimer, Barbenheimer weekend. Yes. So she said all black diamonds and pink stone. Okay. Ooh, that has so much meaning. It does. You're right. The two together. So much meaning. Okay, so oh let's gosh. see here. Pink spinel. Let's get a realistic one. Oh, something baby really... pink or this pink? Let's do this pink. Now you know, Barbie likes a bright pink, and not to... a millennial pink. I believe. I believe. Well, I don't know what she's doing now. Then we can do this one here, and we can apply. That is definitely going to be bright. Is that what you were thinking? Mm -hmm. it sure or is. this? Oh, it's of course. Now I'm trying to glom on to rains. You know, so rain. Did you want? Like, that's beautiful. That's Barbie pink to me. Very good. I didn't know what Barbie pink yeah, was. Yeah, black diamonds also. Oh yes. So let's see if we can. If I didn't mess it up, if we can change it over here. Oh yes, I messed it up on one side. Uh -uh. So let me go ahead and get. Because I went and played around with it, <laughs> only one side will change automatically. So I don't know why another glitch, but that's okay. This program is amazing. The people that did this really did an amazing job. Look at this. I mean, it lets us do so many unique things. It and, does. And we only have to click a few of them. Yeah, that, that Instead is of all. Yeah. That is wonderful. And, oh, we just have so many folks who are getting so many ideas. Oh, like, fantastic. Are really inspired by this. Um, Rain says, yes, pink, pink. So okay, this good. This is the one we got, the pink, pink. Yes, we did. Let's go ahead and... We'll look at the stained glass on that now. Yes. Ooh. Okay, there we go. Whoa. Boy, that really wow. knocks it out of the park so hard to get the right dimension on this maybe like that that's good let's go with that yes yes i love that color and we have a couple more uh, where we are running out of time but we have um a couple more we might be able to do one or maybe two more okay just looking to see in order oh boy this is just gorgeous this is the Barbenheimer ring. Rain. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Rain, your mind is so sharp. It is. I'm telling you. She and her oat assist, her gremlins. It, it is. There we Very go. Very witty. I love it. Love it. Oh, and Rain said it's spectacular. Who is going to the Barbie movie? Yes, that um, that is a good question because I do know that Tracy and um her friend Kelly who's in also in the chat tonight are going um all right Trey we have um let me go up here okay so Nancy Long said emerald with yellow gold okay that is complete different look and okay, then the yellow Lisa you will be our last unfortunately our last one for tonight. I see the time yes And just in case, because I haven't said this in a long time, one of the reasons why we keep it to under 
an hour is because in order to post a video to Instagram, um, you must it must be under an hour. And believe me, if it is one minute under an hour, that is an hour in their world too. And it oh yes, load it so. So there it is with the black wow. diamonds. Wow. Um, I like it with the black diamonds. Nancy, that is gorgeous. This ring is amazing, Trey. It's a fun ring. This it was is. a fun one to create today. All right. She's rendering it now. Yeah. And of course, um, Tracy will put all these different <laughs> designs up um, on Facebook and Instagram tomorrow. So you'll be able to see them and visit them again. Yep, I'm taking the side view because that's so different than what we usually do. And Melinda said, gorgeous design. So sweet. Thank you, Melinda. And then we'll just take maybe this view of it. There we go. Well, this, this was a great suggestion also, Nancy. Yeah, it just changes the whole look of the ring. It does. With the different colors. It's quite unbelievable. And let's see. Do you, I, you probably could do I one could do more, one right? more. Yes, I believe okay, so. Let's see here. All right. What one would you like? All right. So we are going to do Lisa, who says, I'm torn between the yellow diamond and amethyst. So how about something with a amethyst and yellow diamond or vice versa? Okay, so we'll do amethyst in the center. Perfect, yes. And um, Lisa, if you can say um, quickly in the comments what metal you would like, that um, that would be great. If not, it will be designer's choice. And the yellow diamonds throughout. Oh, isn't that a pretty combination? Ooh, I love that. Could you please? Okay. <laughs> Absolutely. Let's do it. Do you like okay. it with the two colors? Like yes. I okay. love it. And it's funny because like eventually Tracy will be like, Stacey, you cannot be on the design along show. No, I will never You're say that. You're so excited and enthusiastic. People don't even believe you really are that excited. <laughs> no, I would never say that. <laughs> of course you wouldn't. Um, Margarita says, this one has been a fun one. Oh, it sure fantastic. Has. All right. And we are going to sneak one more in, Trey. Okay. I'm sorry. Oh, no. Just what's one more. I'm, it's easy enough to do. That's what's great. When you come to the store, if you change your mind on something, we can change it. Yes. This is, you really said something there. Because when you come for your design appointment, or if we do a Zoom design appointment with you, we can do that as well. Um you can see all the different changes that can be made in just a one hour appointment. So, and okay, so we are going to do um, Stephanie who has, um, who said, did you already do sapphires or blue topaz? So the answer is yes, we started with London blue topaz, but sapphire, always a good idea. It is. Let's go ahead and change that to sapphire. Is that sapphire there? Yes, it is. And Lisa said, love the yellow and purple combo. Yeah, that's a very fresh looking combo, isn't it? It is. Okay, and then we're going to change the, what was the color combination? Um, there really was sapphire. sapphire, okay. Mm -hmm. And so maybe we would do like a Swiss blue with the yes. rest of it? I love it. What you were like reading my mind. I was thinking, what if we did um, uh, topaz uh, in the smaller stones? I like it. Maybe white gold. Why not? <laughs> and Why I'm not? hoping that is what Stephanie wants. I hope so, too. Okay, so we're filling in all these. It's so much easier if I don't click them before we're done. Oh, the way I changed it, now we're having to put up with it. Okay, there we go. We're almost done. Yes. Here she goes. Here she goes. Huh? Yay. Yay. So we're going to go to Swiss Blue, and then I hit the wrong thing. Wouldn't that be funny? Oh, it would be a laugh a minute. <laughs> or a cry. <laughs> Great. We're going to say done. We're going to go to the white gold now. That's right. 
Oh yeah. Really that is pretty. Striking. It is really pretty. And there you go. You've got that um, look of the um, stone showing through. Yeah, the setting that stained glass. Yes, book that you mentioned. Mm -hmm. Again, it's so hard to get the exact shape that we want. Well, we'll go right about there. I hope for the best. Okay. I can move it around and move it all around. All over and all over again. <laughs> oh, yeah, that yellow and purple. Gosh, are pretty, pretty. Well, I'm going to have to talk fast. Oh, you are. I better. You could. You could. Just. We'll render it and then we will leave this program. That's right. We will not even wave bye bye. <laughs> we will not. <laughs> we will not. Oh, boy. This combo. Great as well. I cannot wait to see these all up on <laughs> Facebook and Instagram tomorrow. There we go. It is done. And, and done. done. Perfect. <laughs> okay. So I will turn it back to you, Stace. Okay, great. We will remove that. We will bring these up. Bigger us. The bigger us. <laughs> I, I need to move farther away so that there I'm we go. a little bitty. Okay. Um... <laughs> <laughs> uh, really, it Here. has been. A, Here we go. But thank you. You are an awesome sister. It has been such a fun but very busy week in our lives this week as well. So we're a little giddy tonight. That's very true. But that's a good thing to be, right? Okay. So very quickly telling you that um, we will still be doing our annual Christmas in July event and sale. On um, Friday and Saturday, 22 to 40% off your jewelry purchase when you pick an ornament off the tree at your time of purchase. And you will receive a pair of free, gorgeous, iridescent earrings. And those will be um, with any jewelry purchase. All right. That's the only thing I'm going to tell you because that is it. All right. We're going to go back to me. I mean, Tracy and me. <laughs> and <laughs> announce the winner. And the winner of that um, sterling silver necklace valued at $100 is Stephanie Reinhardt. Stephanie, congratulations. A round of applause for you. That is wonderful. And all you need to do, as you know, is to um, just stop by the store and pick it up at your convenience. And I want to thank you all so much for being here with us tonight. It means so much to Tracy and I. Um, we just love hanging out with you all on Wednesdays and Thursdays. It's a very special um, a special thing that we get to do with you all. And we love the camaraderie that we have all built up together. Thank you for supporting small businesses like ours. And until we see you again, stay sparkly, everyone. Bye-bye. Good night. To schedule a free custom jewelry design appointment with Tracy, simply call or text us at 386-252-0010. Your appointment can be in person at Masterpiece Jewelers here in Daytona Beach or online over Zoom. It's your choice.